Boscobel House is a Grade 2 star listed building in the parish of Boscobel in Shropshire, England. It's been at various times a farmhouse, a hunting lodge and a holiday home. It's renowned for its role in the history of the English Civil War and the dramatic escape of King Charles II after the Battle of Worcester in 1651. Boscobel is on land which belonged to White Ladies Priory in the Middle Ages and at that time it was extra parochial. The house was created around 1632 when landowner John Gifford of White Ladies Priory converted a timber-framed farmhouse built sometime in the 16th century into a hunting lodge. The Priory and its estate including the farmhouse site had been leased from the Crown by William Skeffington after the dissolution of the monasteries. It passed into the Gifford family after William left it to his widow Joan who subsequently married Edward Gifford, the son of Sir John Gifford of Chillington Hall. The reversion was sold in 1540 but was repurchased later and subsequently passed on to Edward's heir, John. John Gifford decided to make the farmhouse more functional by building a substantial extension to the south, including a living room and bedrooms that were more in keeping with those enjoyed by the gentry, and he renamed the new hunting lodge Boscobel House. The Gifford family were recusants who refused to participate in the worship of the established Church of England. For them, this brought fines, imprisonment and discrimination. The Giffords took care to surround themselves with reliable retainers until the mid-19th century after the Catholic emancipation. The house itself was used to shelter Catholic priests hiding them occasionally in at least one priest hole. This secret function of the house was to play a key part in the history of the country. It was here that Charles II hid in a tree to escape discovery by the parliamentary soldiers after his escape from the Battle of Worcester. During his six week flight he passed through numerous English counties and was forced to hide in one of Boscobel's oak trees in the grounds of the house that was being searched by the parliamentary soldiers. Although the original royal oak in which King Charles II hid was destroyed over time, an oak tree grown from one of its acorns stands on the estate today. The tree has become a national symbol and an enduring emblem of the loyalty to the crown. Charles was moved from Boscobel to Moseley Old Hall, another Catholic redoubt near Wolverhampton, and ultimately escaped the region posing as a servant of Jane Lane of Bentley, whose family were also landowners of the nearby Broom Hall. The local Catholic Pendrell family also played a significant role in aiding King Charles II's escape. They provided food, clothing and shelter while helping him evade capture. Francis Cotton, nee Gifford, died shortly after these events and both white ladies and Boscobel passed by her daughter, Jane Cotton, who had married Basil Fitzherbert in 1648. The Fitzherberts were major landowners and let Boscobel as a farm to a succession of tenants, including several members of the Pendrell family. Boscobel featured prominently in the Popish plot, 
The informer Stephen Dugdale accused the guests who witnessed the Jesuit John Gavin taking his final vows there in 1678 of plotting treason and several of them, including Gavin himself, were executed or imprisoned. The estate in Boscobel was sold to Walter Evans, a Derbyshire industrialist in 1812, although the Fitzherbert family retained the White Lady's priory site. It was the Evans family who restored the house and gardens and promoted the legend of Charles II. A substantial farm building was appended to the northern side of the house in the 19th century, making three distinct wings. It was sold to Orlando Bridgman, the 5th Earl of Bradford in 1918, who placed both it and the infamous tree in the hands of the Ministry of Works in 1954. It subsequently passed by the Department of the Environment to English Heritage in 1984. To the south are formal gardens featuring a parterre hedged with box, restored in recent times in the approximate area of the original box garden shown in the 17th century views of Boscobel. On its southwest corner is the mount, a mound topped by a modern shelter where Charles spent the day reading. Today, Boscobel House is managed by English Heritage and is open to the public. Visitors can explore the house, see the remains of the Royal Oak and learn more about the dramatic events surrounding King Charles II's flight after the Civil War. Boscobel House stands as a remarkable piece of British history not only for its architectural evolution and ties to the Catholic recusancy, but especially for its pivotal role in the dramatic escape of King Charles II. Today its preserved grounds and legacy invite visitors to step back in time and explore one of the most iconic royalist landmarks in England. Sounds like our front door. <laughs>